Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Zelda public video and for this video we are going back to uh, my roots which is buying and selling stuff on the GTN something I actually haven't been doing a lot contrary to what you might think uh, I haven't really been hitting the GTN but this time I decided to do a little bit of an experiment now no doubt as you guys have noticed uh, when you go and check on the GTN, people try to sell things for insane prices, especially when those things are super rare, like any sort of Revan armor set. Uh, some of the rarest mounts include like the Rancors and the Thrones and the Hover Chairs and all that really good stuff. And so what I decided to do was I went through all the cargo bays of all my characters and picked out some of the rarest, most expensive items I could find and threw them all up on the GTN for insane prices. And the point of this experiment was to see does this stuff sell? Because there are two things, right? On one hand, people put things up for high prices, but they don't necessarily sell. Someone can keep putting up something for 50 million credits and weeks and weeks later, it never actually sells because no one's willing to pay that high of a price for it. So the big question is, you know, when you put up these expensive things, do they actually sell? So I have here 161 successful item sales. I've been selling for about 10 days. And so I'm gonna run through these successful item sales and see what's sold. Uh, here we have the Commemorative Statue of Lana Bonico, which is a gold decoration selling for 1.4 million credits. That's about the most you can hope for a gold decoration. Uh, the Resplendent Crown of Avarice for 2.3 million credits. Uh, it didn't sell for much. Here's a good one. The Relaxed Uniform Armor Set sold for 18.8 million credits. This one I personally couldn't believe. Uh, if you jump into collections here, when we actually look at the armor set itself, the reason it sells for so much is because, well, it shows your upper body armor. That's basically about... Uh, the reason why it sells for that high of a price. 18 million credits for a silver armor set. That is no joke, but they do sell at that high price. Here's an interesting one. The Deep Core Explorers Pack selling for 2.3 million credits. That's just one cartel pack. Here's the Outer Rim one selling for 2.3 million credits. So these cartel packs, if they're old enough, they'll actually sell for that high of a price. And then the expanded die module kits, these things sell for about 1.5 million credits each. I was selling stacks of a few of them, so they don't sell for like 5.9 million credits. That would be insane. But if you put them up for 1.5 million, they will sell. The Jedi Strategist Supplementary Body Armor for 9.4 million credits. If you can believe it, those are just the belt and the bracers of a Jedi Strategist. Like that, like that thing was selling for under 1 million credits when the pack was still available. Again, some really big sales here. We have the Tula Cord armor set that I just sold for 45 million credits. Some of you might think that's actually lowballing it. If you look, I do have the individual armor pieces here. Interestingly enough, the helmet and the upper body armor, I have a hard time just selling those by yourself, but the second you sell the entire armor set for a relatively good deal, um, it does actually sell pretty quickly. So that's the Tula Cord armor set, huge sale right there. The Reaver stuff will sell very quickly, and for a silver armor set, that's not bad. And the Elegant Lounger Armor Set, selling for a little bit cheaper, even though it is the kind of skimpy female outfit. Uh, the MSM JT9 Jetpack, selling for 6.5 million credits. Here's another gold commemorative statue, selling for 2.3 million credits. Once again, those are actually pretty high for just these gold decorations. Zolzan's Armor Set, 13 million credits. You'll see a lot of these sales. That's actually a much more popular armor set than I would have anticipated, selling for 13 million credits. Here's the upper body armor, selling for 9.4 million credits. And then here's a huge sale, the Act Dog Handler License selling for 65 mil. So you know when you see on the GTN people putting this Act Dog Handler License up for huge and high prices, it actually sells at those high prices. Uh, it didn't quite sell at the 100 mil price, but it does sell at 65 mil. And here's another kind of skimpy female outfit, uh, 14 million credits. So if we jump into collections, uh, the Relax Uniform Armor Set I showed you guys earlier, that one was for males. Usually you'll see males uh, um, using that, but here's a just female outfit and if we uh, throw it up on my companion here you'll see that it's pretty skimpy and that will net a huge price people will pay a lot of money for just the upper and the lower body armor the music therapy probe this one was just recently on uh, the cartel market for only 2400 credits and uh, I'll just quickly check the GTN here I might actually have another one up for sale uh, no, I do not. So that was actually the one that sold. So it did sell at 18 million credits. That's an insane price for just a regen item that, um, you know, it's a pretty good conversion. 2400 cartel coins for, 19, for 18 million credits. Here we just have some Temple Guardian stuff. Now, the Temple Guardian armor set, very popular. And, um, well, here, I'll talk about the Darth Malgus one quickly. I just ran through that. Uh, the Darth Malgus is breastplate, 20 million credits. The reason why such a huge sale is because... Um, 
you know, it's popular and all, but that Darth Malgus armor set, when the pack, Strategy Alliance packs came out, that was only selling for like 4 million in credit. So I can't believe that right now people are actually paying 30 million for it. Uh, the Wampa Handler license here for 18 million credits and the Core Slug for 9.4 million. These companions will sell for a ton. I talked about this in previous videos. The gold armor packs do indeed sell for 18.8 million credits. Here's the Sith Recluse going for a very high price as well. Ah, a ceremonial mystic actually sells at you know a pretty decent price. When the Dark Forces Light Packs were available, that was going for way less. And the Ruthless Scion, so these are really popular armor sets. I mean, Sith Recluse, Ruthless Scion, that stuff will all sell. And even just the belt, I was just selling the, um, the Ruthless Scion belt. Uh, that one will also sell very high. The Yavin Combat Arena, which I just recently got from the Grand Shadows packs, that uh, is sold pretty high. Uh, the Clansman's armor set. Here's an interesting one, the Satil Shan Supplementary Body Armor. I sold this for 3 million credits, and here's a really good tip for you guys, because if you look on the uh, GTN right now, and you just search for the Satil Shan Belt, you'll see that uh, it's only selling for, here, 400,000 credits. But if you look at the Satil Shan Supplementary Body Armor, that's selling for, like, way higher, but that only contains the belt. So if someone was really lazy and they just bought up the Satil Shan Supplementary, or maybe they didn't know that it it just contains the belt. They might think there's some headgear associated with it. They might actually pay a much higher price than they need to. So uh, kind of a cautionary tale for you guys, but also if you want to try to net a few extra million credits, you can do so that way. And here, I was talking about the Temple Guardian earlier. So a very popular armor set, interestingly enough, sells very cheap actually. Like you can't sell that. I've been trying to sell that for around 8 to 10 million credits. Does not sell. But the Cather Honor set on the other hand sells very well. And here's the Galactic Command Tuning. Only a few months ago, this was selling for like 2 million credits, and now here it is selling for 7.5 million credits. Uh, so that might be something you want to look into. Once again, if you jump right back on the GTN and you type in tuning uh, in the search bar, you'll see that some of these tunings actually go for very cheap. You have the damage weapon tuning, the strap we attachment weapon tuning, and just a few months ago when the Eternal Command Packs were available, the Galactic Weapon Tuning was right there alongside those, but now here it is selling for much, much higher. So uh, kind of a good investment if you have the credits. Yeah, the Temple Guardian does not sell as high as I would have hoped. Here's a Rancor. You know, Swamp Rancors and stuff, you can put them up for high prices. They don't usually sell. You have to go below 10 mil to get a sale, in my opinion at least. I mean, I've been trying to put these up for higher, but they just don't seem to sell. And here's just a random droid requisition, still selling for 5 million credits. And here's the entire armor set of the Temple Guardian, 7.4 million. The reason I have so many of these is because they were actually a pretty common drop from the um, uh, Grand Nightlife packs. Here's another Wampa Handler selling for 18 million. So that was a pretty good deal. If you bought those up and held on to those from the uh, Life Day event, you can net a lot of credits because it does sell very well at 20 million credits. Uh, the Wampa Companion is what I was talking about. Yeah, more Temple Guardians. Here's, here's a very interesting one, the Horizon Guard. Uh, now that is a armor set available from the cartel market for 1,400 cartel coins, but you actually can't sell it for that high of a price. I mean, I had one armor set. I still haven't sold the entire armor set. If I jump on the GTN, I'll show you guys that here I still have the upper body armor that I'm trying to sell from the Horizon Guard. As you just saw, I just had, I still trying to sell the boots. Um, and they just don't sell, honestly. Like you have to drop to such a low price to get a sale. Uh, here's the chest guard, it actually did sell, my bad. But I was trying to sell this for like 15 million. I was the only one on the GTN, no one was biting. I had to drop all the way to seven mil to get a sale. So a uh, cautionary tale for you guys. If you think, you know, I'll just buy that off the cartel market, try to make some credits, it's gonna be a little bit of a hard sell. You have to drop pretty low. But here, these armor sets, these gold armor sets will do pretty well actually. Um, I was surprised. Here's this a cool Overseer Dea, still selling high at 9.4 million credits, despite the fact that there is a silver reskin version um, roaming around. And here's a huge sale, the lower body armor. Man, people will pay a lot of credits just for those boots, because that's the only thing people want from the lower body armor. No one cares about the, the pants. But that one sold for like 50 million credits. Now here's another really interesting one. The Marsh Hunter Ackley sold for 20 million credits. And you'll see that I sold this again, actually. I do remember selling this beforehand. Now that is a huge sale for just a regular Ackley, I'm telling you, because um, that thing was only selling for like 4 million credits. Uh, 
well, let's see, that was only about a few months ago. It's when the Visionary Packs were released. So quite a while ago, but still, I mean, that accolade was only going for 4 million credits. And now it's uh, selling for 20 million. So once again, a, little, a really good investment. And um, okay, I'm missing all these sales here. The Volatile Conqueror's Lightsaber, yeah, that'll sell very high. That and the Cathar Honor Sword, very good sellers. Another Zozan's armor set. And I sold that pretty cheap, actually. Probably could have gotten more. Yeah, and as you can see, this Horizon Guard stuff, I mean, those are the pants. But still, i got to sell them lower than 2 million credits to get a sale. And here's a, okay, the Volatile Conqueror's Saber Staff, selling for almost as much as the single-bladed saber. I picked up these Volatile Conqueror Saber Staffs for under 2 million credits when the Dark vs. Light Packs were available. They actually became quite common, the GTN got a little bit flooded, and look at that. It sold for like 15 million. Here's the Unstable Arbiter's Dual Saber selling for 25 million credits. Uh, those Platinum items, they'll sell at high prices. People are willing to pay for those. Because that Platinum icon is just basically a signifier, like yep, that's going to be rare, people are going to pay high prices for it. And just like the Horizon Guard, the Imperial Bastion stuff, you'll have to drop pretty low to sell that as well. Here are the Greaves. They're also only selling for under 1 million. I'm telling you, I tried to sell these for like 5, 6 million credits. Not a single sale. All throughout the 10 days. I had to like drop it, soup, keep dropping it, you know, 500k lower this day, 500k lower this day, and then t until it finally sold at under a million credits. Yeah. Look at that, selling the belt for 200k. Here's an interesting one. Uh, the Arc Necklin Masterpieces Bundle for 5 million credits. Uh, interestingly enough, I never thought this would actually sell. It's a Cartel Market Decoration Bundle. Uh, it's going up for, let's see, 1,000 Cartel Coins, but it was on sale for like 400 something uh, one day, and I just decided to pick one up, see if it sold. It never sold, but finally I actually ended up getting a sale. Uh, it's a very hard thing to sell. Not a lot of people are out there looking for it. Here's another one, the outfit designer slot. Interestingly enough, these were on a cartel market sale once for like 20 cartel coins. I picked up a ton of them. Uh, they do cost 120 right now when they're not on sale, but uh, they do kind of sell pretty well. As you can see, I just sold one for 1 million credits. Yeah, I want to make sure my mic's not off. My f Oh no, okay, so the mic's still going on. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted to make sure. Yeah, these requisitions. And the primary black, if you can't afford the black and black die module, people are paying 10 million credits for the primary black. And more of this Zozan stuff. You can sell the uh, supplementary stuff, like the belts and the bracers, for a lot of credits, just because people want to complete their armor sets. Here are the foot wraps going for 2 million credits. Here's another gold armor pack. So these things do sell pretty well at 20 million. It's the same guy buying it, but um, that's all you really need. One or two sellers who are willing to buy up your entire stock and you've made a ton of credits. Now, ah, here's just a single helmet rather than the armor set, selling for a hefty 20 million. If you think you're going to get more than that, eh, you're going to be out of luck. That thing does not sell well at very high prices. You can keep putting it up for like 40, 50 million credits. No one will buy it. Here's the Vectron Vertica, once again, a gold mount that was going for 2 to 3 million credits back when it was common, and now it's selling for like 15 million. And there are a lot of gold mounts right now that are common and dropping at low prices, so you might want to consider getting those. Uh, things like the um, Corrupted Ackley, hey, that's a good one. And then you also have like uh, some of the other Vectron stuff. Just check the Collections tab of the recent Cartel Packs, you see a list of all these uh, gold mounts that are going for pretty cheap. And who knows, those could be the ones that are selling for 50, 20 million credits in the future. And here's another Cathar Honor Sword, a very good seller. People are still looking for this. Uh, but once again, you can't sell it at the 30, 40 million credit price. You have to drop it like 20 million. I should mention, I'm on the Harbinger, and things often go for much cheaper on the Harbinger than other ones. Here's the advanced White War Heroes Crystal. I tried selling this for three consecutive days at 20 million, didn't sell. But the second I dropped it to like 15 million, it sold. So uh, you can expect prices around that. Yeah, so I mean, if you're on another server, prices might be a little bit higher and you might get some really lucky sales. So here on the Harbinger, you're seeing things going for the absolute cheapest, usually. Now this Euphoric Corellian armor set, I've sold like five of these. You might have seen them uh, pop up time and time again as I'm just collecting this stuff. 
Uh, that one actually also sells pretty well. Not sure why, it's just a silver armor set, but it sells for like seven, eight million. Here's another Marsh Hunter Ackley. So you can tell it wasn't just a fluke. This thing actually sells. If I pop on the GTN here, I'll just quickly show you guys. We have the, uh, as I talked about earlier, the Corrupted Ackley. This thing's almost dropping as low as two million. It's just under three million right now. So you might want to think about investing in this. I mean, the Marsh Hunter Ackley is selling at 19 million. So um, uh, who knows what the Corrupted Ackley will sell for in the future. We don't have many Ackleys in the game. Those are the only two we have right now. So, might be something to look into. Uh, the Cartel Decadent Skiff, very, very old mount, uh, dropped out of the first Grand Acquisitions pack. And here's another Tulak Cord helmet selling for 20 million. They sell pretty well at that price. These are just decorations I sold. There's a cool knight decoration, a silver decoration from the Visionary packs. Uh, common drop and now netting me a very good profit, actually. And here's a big sale, the Revenite Zealot, that's just a gold decoration, but sold it for 4 mil. And this Mandalorian Clansman, uh, the, ah, here's another Music Therapy Probe, 15 million. So once again, not a fluke, actually sells at that price. I only had two up for sale, and they sold in a matter of a few days. And the Ascendant Heirloom lightsaber, this is just a random lightsaber I had sitting from um, the cartel market. I got it on sale, so it was actually a pretty good deal. Um, more of this random stuff. Ah, Revan's Mask, 30 million credits. Once again, this is one of those items that I tried to sell at like 50 million. I kept putting up auctions, but uh, no one was biting. And so I kept trying to drop it to see, okay, what price will it sell at? And it sold at 29 million. Finally, I had to keep putting it up for a good five, six days. Here's another platinum item selling for 18.8 .8 million credits. So once again, platinum items do indeed sell at those high prices. And here's a Tula Core chest guard for a change. Uh, that's also selling about as high as the helmet is. More of this Reaver stuff. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, could not perform the mail operation. Why not? Okay, I'll just try to reset the user interface here. Uh, something's going on. Ay, ay. So if you're wondering how to reset the user interface, you can just press Control U twice and it just kind of resets everything and it should fix any of the problems. We'll find out. Okay, here we go. Expanded die module kits, once again, selling at like 1.5 million. Uh, these particular ones actually sold at 2 million. I just kind of got lucky with those sales. Here's the uh, ones that I tried to sell for 1 million. I was just kind of experimenting, so I put them at different prices just to see uh, at what price do they sell at, at what price will they stop selling. They actually sold at both 1 million and 2 million. And here's more Rancors. I'm selling these pretty cheap. Anything under 10 million credits is cheap for a Rancor. But as I mentioned earlier, if you want to get sales, you got to drop that low, at least on the Harbinger server. You can keep trying to put it up for higher, but they don't sell too well. Now the Blade Master's lightsaber. These are just kind of these ones from the uh, equipment uh, tab here. You can see we have the Blade Master. 500 cartel coins, but these sometimes go on sale. And so, as you can see, you can sell them for a few million credits if you pick them up when they're on sale. The Black Friday sale was the time when I picked up a few of these. They were on like 70, 90% off. Uh, here's a particular armor set to drop out of a chance cube. Ah, here is, here's a big one. The Lightning Weapon Tuner. This one I've been waiting for to talk about. 56 million credits. Uh, now it's a lot cheaper because we do have a sale. Uh, on the cartel market, at least it's not anymore, but it was very recently. And so the market's become very flooded. Uh, you might want to buy low, sell high, or you might want to hold on to any lightning tunings you do have, because these do sell at very high prices, so who knows what they'll be selling for in a few months' time. Here's another weapon tuning, the Light Attuned one from the Dark vs. Light Packs. That one actually sold at 29 million credits. Yeah, the Galvanized Infantry. I personally don't know why this sells at such high of a price because it's been reskinned time and time again, but it does indeed sell. And here's, a, here are just some random gold mounts. Ah. Here's another Tula Cord armor set, selling for a little bit cheaper than I sold the other one, but uh, nonetheless, uh, selling very high actually. I'm happy with 37 million. Here's another jetpack. This one was gold, the other one was silver, that's why it sold for cheaper. And another Volatile Conqueror's Lightsaber. So these do sell at like 20 million. 
Revan sashed just for a belt. Someone paid 20 million credits just for a belt. Um, they probably wanted to complete their Revan armor set, so they had to buy the belt. And the Overlord's Command Throne, another really huge sale, 45 million credits. So you see those people listing Command Thrones for 50 mil on the GTN? Uh, they might be a little bit more, um, you know, sense to what they're doing because it does seem to actually sell. It's not just you keep putting up the same thing and hoping that it sells. And you also might want to look into this new Command Throne, the Protector's Command Throne, from the Vigilant Defender packs. Who knows what this will sell for? I mean, interestingly enough, it is a just a gold drop, but it hasn't dropped below 10 mil. That's insane. No mount has ever done that before. So who knows what that's going to sell for in the future. The black and black die. Uh, if you see auctions of it for like 30 million, doesn't sell. You got to drop lower to, for, in order to get a sale for that one. Here's another saber staff. As I mentioned, I was buying these for like 1 million credits when the Dark Riches Light Pack was available. And here they are selling for like nine, uh, 15, 20 million credits. And the flares. Huh. That's a really good price for a flare. 15 million. Another Wampa Hunter license selling for 24 million. Man, that was an awesome deal. It was, um, it was up on the cartel market for like 2,000 cartel coins uh, during the Life Day event. And now it's selling for like 20 million. And the final sale, we have a Dathomir Ranker. So there we go. Um, accumulated quite a pile of credits there. Anyways. Yeah, that's kind of the end of this video. I just wanted to grab a whole bunch of this rare stuff I had sitting in my cargo base and um, I was thinking, you know, what would uh, be a cool video to do with these? And I thought, let's experiment. Let's see whether these things actually sell. It's, and it's kind of relevant because as we've seen with inflation, people are, are putting things for insanely high prices. And um, in case you were wondering, yeah, they do kind of sell. It's not just you keep putting it up and, uh, uh, you know, just for that one person that maybe wants to pay a high price for it. But in reality, these were all sold in a matter of 10 days. That's it. 10 days. I sold like 161 items and a lot of those were really rare, really expensive sales. So uh, if you do get some of these from Cartel Packs, you know, thank the lucky stars because you might just make a huge sum of credits. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, trying out this new style of video that I haven't done for a very long time, you know, just kind of browsing the GTN and uh, checking some cartel market sales. And if you did enjoy, oh sorry, GTN sales, and if you did enjoy, leave a like, also leave a comment um, on what you guys think, what are some of the biggest sales that you've had, I'd love to read about those. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.